Penguin Random House Audio presents From Here to the Great Unknown, a memoir by Lisa Marie Presley and Riley Keough. Read for you by Julia Roberts and Riley Keough. The bluebird. There's a bluebird in my heart that wants to get out, but I'm too tough for him. I say stay in there. I'm not going to let anybody see you. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning into this video on Elvis is the Man. So just a little update. As many of you know, uh, Lisa Marie Presley, her memoir has just been released. I'm uh, really looking forward to getting into it. I just got the audiobook because, you know, I tend to procrastinate. I, I didn't uh, pre-order it. I knew I'd probably be able to get it in the stores, but uh, I want to read it now. So one of the things I wanted to get was the audiobook because I know that Riley Keough is going to be reading it. And as you listen to, uh, Julia Roberts is also doing it, which I'm kind of disappointed about. I just wanted it to be Riley the whole time. But, you know, I know like me, haven't we always waited for something like this? You know, Elvis, according to Larry Geller, was working on an autobiography. Uh, he obviously never finished it. And I don't know of any, uh, anything he actually got down on paper. But this one, thankfully, Lisa Marie, she actually did get it down. Now, as far as I know, she didn't complete it all the way, but Riley helped, uh, finish up a bit of it. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I miss her and Oprah at Graceland and, and Oprah's been to Graceland many times. I'm sure she's already, already seen Elvis's bedroom. You know, and, and she's interviewed Priscilla, Lisa Marie. You can go back and search on YouTube and see it all. But uh, I missed it last night. It was on CBS. And so far, I haven't seen anything on YouTube. But I'm going to keep searching. And I think, you know, people have been telling me that on uh, Paramount Plus, you can, you can uh, look at it. And I do have that. So I'll be looking at that soon. But I just bought the audiobook. And some people, like I posted on uh, Elvis is the Man Facebook, um, they said that they got the audiobook. It takes like five hours to listen to. They listen to it like straight through. They have some stamina. And uh, they said it was a very emotional, eye-opening book. Uh, one of the things is um, that really stood out to me that they said already is that Lisa, I guess if I, if I understood it right, Lisa had been, she didn't bury him for two months. She had him in her house. Boy, it was kind of like Elvis. You know, uh, Lisa found some comfort. I was being, you know, at Grayson for a little while before his burial. But I look forward to this book. I'm so glad that we have Lisa's thoughts and feelings on things. I know she's going to be talking about her mom, about Michael Jackson, about her life. And I'm just really looking forward to it. Some people are already telling me that Priscilla would not like this book. And I'm sure Priscilla is already reading it. Or she probably already read it, you know, before it even came out. She doesn't have to wait like we do, like the normal people. But I just look forward to this one. And um, talk to me in the comments about what, what you think. And come back to this video. And I'm going to come back with a review once I uh, read the whole thing. And first, I'm going to listen to it because I already wanted to get it. Uh, the audiobook, and then I'm gonna get the physical copy because you know I just like to have the physical copy. And so let's let's talk in the comments and uh, share what you think and what stood out to you. And then stay tuned to the channel to uh, to view my actual review of the whole book. I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm thankful that Lisa's thoughts have been documented for all time. So. Um, Thanks for tuning into this one. Talk to me in the comments, guys. Hit the like button. Helps you grow and expand the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you next time.